So we've got our specimen in the chamber. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start the vacuum. I'm going to hold the drawer closed and I'm going to hit the exchange button. You'll hear the in the background that little red vacuum pump starting to pull air out of the chamber. That's our first vacuum. And uh, now we want to start the, the program. And we're going to click on this icon right here. It has the same name as the scope. It's TM1000. So I'm going to double click on that. And when I do, the program should open. It takes a second. And there it is. And you can see our message says, now evacuating the specimen chamber. While that's happening, what we're going to do is we're going to click down here on the, the bottom of this uh, little pencil down here. And this allows us to actually uh, label what we're uh, the specimen. So in this case, it's star sand. Uh, you want to have this auto increment checked. I'm going to reduce the number to one. Now, the reason we're doing that is every time we try to save a picture, it will give it that name with that number so you don't ex accidentally overwrite your images. And I always like to put my name at the bottom. Uh, hit set there and set here and hit OK and you can see this now has our our uh, what we're imaging it has your name on it and my name in this case has the date and has uh, the time of military time magnification and then the scale for that scale bar down there so now the scope is finished evacuating the chamber we know that because first of all the message is gone that it's evacuating the chamber and second of all uh, you've got the start button which is now no longer grayed out so all you have to do is just hit the start button there's an auto start in which case the scope takes a first look it'll do a quick little autofocus and will adjust the uh, brightness and magnification at this point if you don't see an image even in this window right here uh, it's there's two reasons first of all the scope might be misaligned but more likely you forgot to center the stage and so the specimens way off to the side and the scopes trying to focus into thin air so there's our, our first specimen and this is a little star sand all right couple buttons first of all uh, we've got a fast button and a slow button. This is the scan speed. Let me go to slow here so you can see what's going on. You can actually see this line moving down. This this is a scanning electron microscope and it actually scans left to right, line by line by line. I'm going to move the image by, now I'm reaching over the scope and actually turning one of the knobs manually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the image so you can see the, the scan line. The picture behind the line is new, the picture in front of the line is old. It's like a weather radar. The fact that it has a sweep past before you get new information. Uh, but normally what we're going to do is we're going to go on fast scan to, to just to look around because that way when I move things it refreshes much faster and you don't you don't get this really distorted look. Uh, reduced is exactly what it says. It reduces the field of view and it scans much faster. Uh, you can use that for focusing in a minute. We'll turn that back off. I'm going to go back to uh, fast again. And you can also freeze the picture which I have no use for. I actually don't do that. Quick save I also don't do. Uh, save is exactly what it says. You're going to be sending your image to a file on the computer, actually on the S drive. This number right here tells you the current magnification. I can decrease that by simply clicking on the minus. You can see that I'm zooming out. I can increase it by clicking on the plus. We also have a couple of presets, uh, just ways to quickly change magnification. If I click on a 30x preset, it goes to 30x. If I click on the 500, it goes to 500. Let's put that back on 100 there. I'm just going to click down to 100. All right. You can also see that I've got my brightness and contrast. Now, uh, these are really key to seeing a good image. If your brightness and contrast are off, then you're not going to see, uh, you're not going to get a high quality image. Let's say I want to increase the contrast here. I can do it by clicking this button slow, like just every time I click it, the contrast changes. Or I can hold it down. And if I hold it down, you can see every time it scans, I, I can see a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm going to, if I want to drop the brightness down a little bit, uh, and, and you can play with this and if you get it completely out of if you get it completely out of whack uh, then just click the auto brightness contrast again and it'll uh, it'll replace I like a little bit more contrast on my images so I'm going to increase that just a bit focus you can auto focus which works really well as long as you're under about 1000 magnification uh, past that it's not really going to work very well uh, you can also hold down these pluses and minuses and uh, and change the focus I'm going to get this way out of focus here I'm just holding that minus down and you'll notice that as I do that that green line in the middle that is marking the focal point uh, and you can see that the focal point in this case is dropping down so this thing has dimension to it so I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to hold the plus down and we'll go back up to the uh, and get it in as good a focus as we can get so again you're just trying to get the prettiest picture that you possibly can 
Now let's let's say that I want to focus this manually, which is which is done a lot. Uh, go to slow scan because you'll see that the image is much better on slow scan. You get you get a higher quality image. I'm gonna increase that brightness just a little bit here. Now you'll notice that when I hover in the screen here, it actually says focus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the mouse button, the left mouse button down, and I'm gonna pull across the screen. I'm gonna let go, bring it back, hold down. I'm basically just dragging right to left across the screen and as I do that if I do it enough you can see that I'm starting to throw the image out of focus this is another way to focus as a matter of fact it's a really easy way to find focus so I'm gonna go back the other way I'm gonna hold on the left hand side and drag to the right and as I do that um, I can I'm gonna go until I get the picture that I actually want now just unlike photography there's there's a trick that you can do to get a very sharp focus and that is you can actually magnify much more than you actually need so let's 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 go to 500x here. Slow scan so I get the highest quality image. And I'm going to start, let it do one complete uh, pass so you, you have an image to compare. I'm going to start dragging this across. And I'm simply looking past the scan line. I'm asking myself, is it getting better or is it getting worse? And I'm being pretty overt here. It, it's getting worse. So I'm going, to, I'm going to start over here on the left. Hold the button down and start dragging back to the right. Let go. And by the way, you can do little short, little short drags like this. And remember, watch just behind the scan line. You're looking for it to get the best image you can get. And you can see, oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? That's very nice. Okay, oh, that looks good. See, And, and oftentimes what you're going to need to do is go a little bit past it and come back. That looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to 100x. And what you'll notice is that we're going to have a very, very sharp image. We've kind of focused it above the magnification. Uh, and look how nice that looks. And, of course, don't forget that one of the things that's almost as important as focusing is uh, adjusting your brightness and contrast. Again, I'm going to drop the brightness down a couple of notches, four or five notches, and then pop the contrast up a little bit.